Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Bygar in the mid lane with the best build and runes possible, going absolute full AP this game in a fun matchup. Someone like a Yasuo or a Kali is typically gonna be playing up, trying to kill you, because Bygar is squishy. So what we need to do is hold on to our Q more frequently and use it against him when he stands still to last hit, or whenever he goes to pressure us whenever we go into last hit. This is kind of like uh, Pepper Spray or Skunk Spray, where I hit at him, they like, hey, get off of us. Plus, we're getting some permanent AP off of it. So instead of last hitting one minion with Q, if we hit him, it counts as one. Or if we hit him and it kills a minion, it counts as two. Or if it kills a minion hits him, it counts as two. Because your Q does hit two targets. Just like a Lux Q. All right, here we go. It's timed. We want to get him with an auto, apply for a strike. He started with Q, interesting. So he doesn't want to be that aggressive. Since he already hit the wave, I could probably get away with the double Q farm here. We got him and the minion, so that's plus two AP. We did miss a melee creep though, which kind of sucks. It's hard to complain about plus two though. We get him with another Q. Oof, barely missed it. We had too much health. His shield's back up. I don't mind getting him with the, with uh, some AP though. Oof, missed both. Feels bad. Happens sometimes. We're chilling. Huh. I couldn't have really have done anything there. Seems like he's already dead. Give him the Q. He's fighting me on my back line, so he's taking some damage from my minions. Minion damage goes straight through his shield. Found him with the rock. He didn't want to go forward, otherwise I hit him with Q. Missed all the minions there. That's rough. It's very, very rough. We threw out Cage, stopped the wave, don't want to go into our turret. Plus, it gave me a chance to be aggressive with him. Plus four. Nice. Here goes his shield. Auto W auto. Couldn't quite get it. Set up a plus two here. He steps up. He shields it, but I still get the minion. I want to get him with first strike, so I got to hit him first. Found it. Got him and the minion there. Have another minion set up. We can play the edge. Don't want to throw up my E too much. It is a high mana cost. When he steps up, can cage it. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Go ahead and use Biscuit. We kind of need to shove wave now. We don't want to be pushed up for an extended period of time. He's fighting me on my minions here. His wind wall ended up blocking a lot. We'll go ahead and pop Biscuit. I don't have Cage. This Rengar may not know that though. We'll Cage it. We're chilling. Got plus four. Get some autos on this guy. I think Yas already burned his flash there. I'm getting a decent amount of AP. It is what it is. Very low though. Very low indeed. Ringar's probably upset he didn't get too much out of that. It is what it is though. Once we're six, things will change a bit. Mm, couldn't get that one. Interesting. Plus two. We're pretty low. We could look to reset TP back. I'm very low on mana here. Let's see if I can get him with a mana flow. Nope. Baited out his wind wall with an auto. Very nice. How much is this? Only 40. All right, it's time to reset. He's level six as well. 
Rengar soaked some experience while he was mid. I guess I'll stay. I don't want to miss this as I'm resetting because I kind of have to wait in base for gold anyways. Or for my health and mana back. We'll get the cannon, so it's whatever. It's plus four. He's starting to build a CS lead. We really, really need our mana back. He's resetting himself. Now that we have Lost Chapter, we really shouldn't run out of mana. It's when the game starts to kind of go in your favor consistently is the Lost Chapter purchase. Plus two, step up, shorter auto range, and we still miss both. Nice. I auto two early there. can apply a lot of pressure to me here kind of cage him off do kind of still want to hit them those the thing mm, that's unfortunate we are getting quite a bit of AP out of him we might be able to suicide here actually That's actually pretty decent. Got the Rumble R as well. I just have to suicide. I know I do. I see I see Yasuo coming over here. They don't get gold out of my death. We didn't have boots, so it was hard to get away from them. Yasuo's apparently tier 2 boots. Uh, Echo's kind of mobile with his dash, so had to do spread them out, do as much damage as we could, and hope they would greed, which they did. They got greedy. They didn't respect my damage output. We have 53 free AP right now, which is more than uh, 850 gold. It's more closer to 1,000 gold. Auto into Q. Couldn't quite get the plus two there. Missed him with the rock, got him with the Q. I think he got me with his though. He's being a pest. He's asserting a lot of pressure now. We get down the rock, hit him with the rock, get him with an auto, Q him through the minion. He got me with his Q there, though. Yeah, his tier 2 boots, it's making it harder to land skill shots. If I don't have Cage or Everfrost, landing skill shots on this guy is uh, a bit iffy. A little bit. Pack him down with some autos. Oof. That was a good standstill. Now we know he's willing to stand still. Gotta place our rock cleaner to roll a hit him if he stands still. Auto in the queue, plus four. Missed a couple of minions. Rip. They're probably on drag right now, yep. This is one of those lanes. It's it's a bit challenging because he can put a lot of kill pressure on you. And he's kind of tanky because of his shield. He's in a tough spot there. He's tanking my minions as well. I just queued right into his freaking wind wall though. Got him with the Q. Also got the minion. Got him with the Q. Auto W E. Auto Q, flash R. Down you go, buddy. He got a little too frisky there. He's trying to make something happen. He's probably feeling the pressure. Whenever people play against Vagar, oftentimes they'll feel the constant weight of Vagar scaling and they'll do some desperate things like that. He needed to be patient. I don't think he was ever going to be able to necessarily solo kill me there with how I'm positioned. But if you would wait for a jungle gank, then you could start to snowball things against me. I don't suppose that's why people play Yasuo, though. They play him to get solo kills, so not to wait for their jungler to gank. We do have more CS than him now, which is nice. It's hard to match his CS early on, because he can out-push us without using mana. And he's also tankier than us. Alright, we got Everfrost. We're also going to go ahead and pick up a Dark Seal. 
And once you get Everfrost, if you're not behind, you might as well pick up Dark Soul, get that stack. And every combo is going to generally be an E, Everfrost, W, Q, R. Your W takes longer to travel than your Q. And you use R last because it's an execute. He's, he's going to have a tough time. Everfrost helps out so much. Take off his shield with an auto E. Everfrost W. We didn't even get the snare off Everfrost, but we got the slow, which let us land W, which is kind of nice. He's tanking my two range creeps right now. We get him to QR. Down he goes. We'd already whittled him down. We knew his wind wall was on a cooldown. That was a freebie. You only play crazy aggressive like that when you've already read their cards. If he, if he still had his wind wall, I wouldn't have done that. He could block my R or my Q or both. If you say Echo's bot side, this should be pretty safe then. FTP to get back to wave. He's in, he's in, he's in a really tough spot now. He should probably just roam and forfeit the lane. I think Echo is coming mid or he just reset, I couldn't tell. Got him with the Q. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> but I don't know why, I kind of thought Echo reset there. Yeah, I didn't have my cage for defensive uses, so I died. My first death of the game that gives them gold at least. Because the first death was a Kamikaze on the turret to prevent it them from getting gold boy oh boy it's time for sorks and it's time for robidon as well i can't afford needless right now though stop the first minion my r's up i have so much kill pressure Oh, I think Echo got the kill. No, or Yasuo got the kill too, which is kind of annoying. He hasn't had a chance to spend it. Got him with the W and Everfrost. The shield blocked so much of the damage. I should probably take a shield off first with an auto if I can. First, so the W can sink in a bit deeper. Got him with that Q. Wove it on the left side of the minion, so it didn't go through the other one that was slightly on the right side. Your Q is... I mean, it's got a hitbox. It's got some width, some girth to it. You can angle it, though. Got him with the W again. It should kind of block the whole thing. They can't gank me right now. Echo's behind, and Yasuo's almost dead, so I'm free to stand up as aggressive as I want. Without any real repercussion. I have tier 2 boots, he may not be very aware of that because of how he's walking around is kind of cocky. He's dead. I think he's dead if I just press R. Flash Q R, down he goes. You can start your Q and then flash and catch people off guard. Knock him up, boy! Get him with the cage. Down he goes. He had nowhere to go. He was completely rounded up there. Don't do it, Lux. Easy. Whew. Tell you what. We have... Uh, what is this guy doing? WQ. I mean, he almost died for that. He lost a lot of health. He can't do much now. I didn't have the damage to kill him without R. Ooh, we can't afford double needless. It's, that's the awkward thing about building Rabadon is you're oftentimes leaving a base with a lot of gold. That's why you'd never rush at first item as well. Even if you had 100 Q farm or 100 passive farm. Because you can technically stack your... Uh, 
phenomenal evil power with any ability for hitting a champion. He's losing all of his HP. They already took my bot lane turret. I have to hold. Got him with the EQ. You're losing your health, buddy. All I need is one more hit and then R. He's a goner. I'm about to get ganked. We need to ward off uh, kind of a back area. We got vision with rock. Ward right here. Ezreal, you're a goose! <laughs> Does he? Oh my gosh, I can't believe Ezreal's standing up like that. Wait, Rengar's mad at me? I just killed Ezreal. Rengar's the goose the whole time. Mm, I'd rather not miss cannon. Yeah, he's a goose. Get him, Lux. Do something. Save me. <laughs> Holy crap. Where are the Lux abilities there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think Rengar realized I peeled off for the Ezreal. Plus, I can't keep up with him anyways. He's moving really fast when he's on his R. Got another chunk of Needless here. More CS. We're at 200. So we have over 10 AP per minute. 10 Phenomenal evil. PEP. -E pep. <laughs> we have more than 10 pep per minute of the game. That means Vigar is kind of fed. He's above average in terms of fedness. What a son of a gun. He's staying there. Hitting my turret like that. My Q and his Q are about the same range. His might have slightly more, but it's not by much. He certainly can't match my wave clear. I have enough mana to spam. He has zero kill pressure as well on me. I don't really have to do much to kill him. He's got to do quite a bit to kill me. So Yasuo does seem to just be roaming at this point. He's not too interested in laning anymore. Fine by me, I'll farm it up. No reason to even put a cage on this Ezreal if I know his dash is up. He's going to dash out of it. And take this along the way. That slowed down too much. Rumble doesn't have much. Senna's pretty tanky though. Get him with the cage, drop the W in the middle, ever frost it. We get the permanent 5 AP per assist or kill per champion takedown. So that was 10 AP plus I hit them with probably three or four abilities total. So that was about 15 permanent AP just off them right there. Two full minion waves. There's no cannon in it. They get the Ezreal Flash. One rock nearly one taps the melee creeps, my goodness. This Jin's so annoying taking my cannon. It's a turd. Hello friend! Oh, he put my R on full cooldown. That sucks. It's the annoying thing about the Echo R. I thought I could R him before the CC ended on him there. Hey, Yasuo. Probably waiting for that to end there. I'll try to get him with Q. I'm ready to flash. Nice try, bud. That was a bad Everfrost. Too early. Do the drag, says Lux. That's a great tip. Woo! He has Hex Drinker. One of Lux's abilities did no damage.
I mean, drag's free. I have this whole area zoned off. They can't step up. He's cage, WQE. Easy. Got him with the Q. Drop the Everfrost, WQ. Drop the R. It's all I could do. As much damage as I could do. I got a lot of AP out of it, even though they got my... They got my soul there, my life. Oh, we probably landed five, six abilities on them. It's AP, baby. Robadon, I have to get Void Staff. Could go for um, this item next, though. Archangels is really, really strong, especially when your tier's full stack, because then it's Seraphs. For 3,000 gold, Seraphs behaves more like a 3,600 gold item. It really, really does. It's a shield bow for mages, because when you drop below 30% health, you get a big fat juicy shield based on your current mana. And of course, we have a big supply of mana. A big friggin' supply. BFS. We, we have a lot of pep. 272 at the 22 minute mark, it's way over 10 per minute. At 800 AP, 22 minutes in. You know, with the Everfrost, WQR. Oof. Yasuo doing Yasuo things. So two things there. First of all, he has magic resist, but in terms of me misplaying, I threw my R too soon. I don't think my rock had fallen when I hit him with my R, so I was missing a lot of execute damage. That's on me. I think I should have had him there, though. If I had let my rock actually drop and then R, he should have died. That's on me. Go ahead and grab this. TP to this. It kind of feels like we're losing. Strangely enough. I got the cannon. Cool. They have dragon advantage. It's weird. It would be a simpler game if they didn't have an Ezreal. Since he matches my range or slightly outranges me, it forces me back constantly. I can't step up for a random raw cage. We got an upgraded Everfrost, that's pretty cool. Let's get the Senna. Dropped a full load on that guy's head. He's not gonna quite die though. Landed everything on him. Look for an auto attack as well. The tricky thing is, guys, when they have a champion who becomes basically undamageable, like Echo when he's casting his R or ZR, it puts Vigar R on full cooldown and they don't take damage from it. So it's really tricky, even though it's easy to think, oh, why didn't you just press R on the Echo? It's, it's tough because if he's paying attention and he presses R, also now I don't have an R and he heals anyways from all the damage he took. So it's a great trade for him to take, especially since I'm so fed. They kind of need to avoid my damage output. Yeah, they have a lot of magic resist for sure. It's time for Rengar and Jin to shine. Sharing minions, though, sucks. You like, like, what is this? Why are we, why are we battling Vigar for CS? It's insane. I'm, I, I like, I don't know. I don't know if I should just rock the whole wave and kill it before he can touch it. But uh, it's getting pretty old. Down he goes, no R needed. Just bop him with a... Ooh! Ooh! I got... <laughs> I got down a cage W before I died. I should get an assist. Ah, uh, normally when you get your cage down, even if they don't step in it, it'll give you an assist. Even if they're on the outside of it. My rock's doing 1400, so yeah, my rock one shots front line, back line, and nearly kills cannon. It's it's so annoying though. It's like, come on, dude, you really taking that CS? 
I get just as much gold and XP from it as you do, except I get permanent stats and you don't from it. Some people just don't care. And it goes Echo when he dies. Seraph's only blocked 96 damage. They must have popped it and then stopped hit stopped hitting me or whatever. It's definitely time for Void Staff. R can do a maximum of 2,000 damage right now if they're below 33% health. W's doing 1,500. Q's doing 950. So W's doing the most, and it's also a shorter cooldown than my Q at this point. Because if W gets on a shorter cooldown based on your stacks of pep, phenomenal evil. So we have 350 pep, 26 minutes in. And our W's a very short cooldown because of it. Freaking Ezreal, man. Turd burglar. Rengar should have it. Boom! There it is. Nice. You can walk this in. The more AP you have, the more damage you do against turrets with your auto attacks. He's trying... Dude, he's waiting for the rock to drop so he can get his auto off. He's literally, like, trying to time it. Not playing around. Yeah, give up that cannon. You want to do this, Santa? You want to do this? Blah! Almost had her. She's tanky. She's real tanky. Need void staff so my damage connects. More AP. 376. It's a beautiful thing to behold. He says, well, 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 if it isn't the AM AMR I took. <laughs> Void staff's coming, Santa. Enjoy it while you can. Eternal Winter. That's such a good name for it, for uh, or an item. <sighs> Q doesn't quite tap the melees down. I still have R. Boom! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the thing. They probably thought I used my R on Santa. It's like, nah, I didn't really need it. It wasn't necessary. Didn't slap that time. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Yasuo is on the way. Hot and fresh Yasuo delivery. Got it. We blocked roughly 500 damage with Seraphs there when it popped. Pro probably kept us alive. I think I would have barely lived without it, but still. Yeah, that's what you get, Jin. You don't get that cannon. I have, uh, I have TP. I'm going to pick up my Void Staff, pick up a Mesh. We are at 1,300 AP here. These guys are in trouble. They're in big trouble. Let me grab that. Ringer with the double. Get down to E, Everfrost, WQ. I don't even need an R. He, he did flash the rock right as it was landing, unfortunately. All it takes is one rock, baby. You're dead. Yep. I mean, it's doing 1,800 damage. It's a big deal. Rumble, you fool! <laughs> Drop the rock on myself. Boom! Got him with the Q. Down he goes. I'm gonna go feed on these little fish. Boom, 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 bam, boom. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can. Uh, right around that. Oh, he had banshees. Son of a gun. 
That Banshee's cheats, dude. It's freaking hilarious, though. Oh, he's in trouble. Jeez, save me! I'm getting burned up. <laughs> GG's, man. What a funny game. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage all enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, decent. Looking at self mitigated, it's all right. And then for runes, great value. All in all, Vigar easily one of the best hyper carry champs in the game. As long as you can make it to six without dying, similar to Kel. Your scaling gets out of hand rapidly. If you guys enjoyed this Vigar video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.